Now our uh, nation was already at war with, with the Italians and had begun capturing uh, Italian soldiers. And so there were perhaps several prisoner of war camps in the United States. This, this restaurant, I managed to look into the dining room and here were a number of uh, young men in uniforms, white men. I later learned they were Italian prisoners of war, having been captured over there, being brought into the United States en route to a prisoner of war camp. Realize, I grew up under a, a segregated system. I had grown up initially feeling that it was just the way things were, that it was nothing wrong with it. As I grew intellectually, I began to question in my mind whether it was correct. I came to a point at which I decided that it wasn't right. Now, at this moment, here I am, a young man wearing the uniform of my country, uh, being trained to uh, engage the enemy in battle. Um, I'm an American soldier and I'm denied the right to, to go into this restaurant and eat. And lo and behold, here we are entertaining uh, foreign prisoners of war in a situation in which they are being accorded decency. And, but all of a sudden, it occurred to me, this isn't right. And I experienced a level of insult that reverberates to this very day. I do mean out and out insult, dismay. It's just that as I saw it right here in my own country, I was insulted. Uh, this was to me an affront, not only to me as an individual, but it was an affront to my entire race of people. But at that moment, uh, whatever citizenship meant to me at that time, yes, I felt it. And I was, I was insulted. I was insulted. So I say that my experience as a soldier during World War II helped me come through that. 